Hey everyone, Dan here. I wanted to show you something we're working on inside of the local adjustments filter. Local adjustments is a really powerful feature which allows you to apply the most common adjustments in local areas on your photo using simple masking tools you're used to using already. I've just opened a portrait here. I'm in develop. I'm going to go to local adjustments and down here at the bottom you notice a new option called paint with color. This lets me either paint with a solid color or I can use it to replace the color of an object. I'm going to use it to paint with solid color but at a low opacity. This is a great way to smooth out skin in a very natural looking way. So I'm just going to select the solid paint option. I'll click on the little color well here, grab the dropper tool, and let's just grab kind of a mid-tone skin color out of our subject skin. There we go. Then I'm going to make sure that my brush opacity is low, 15, 20% at most. And I happen to be using a Wacom tablet, so I'm making sure it's set to change the brush size depending on how hard I press. That lets me do fewer strokes. All right now watch. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint right over her skin. And you notice how it's kind of softening that texture in her skin without making it go away completely. I think a more natural retouch is what's really popular these days rather than having that complete porcelain looking skin. So this gives me a way to do it in a pretty subtle natural way and just build it up. I'll show you what I mean here. I'm just going to keep brushing a little bit. You notice as I press harder I get a larger brush and if I reduce my pressure I get a smaller brush. That way I can really control just how big the brush is and just where it's going to paint with that color. There we go. Let me turn that on and off so you can see before and after. There's before and after. So a pretty subtle adjustment. If we actually look at the mask view, I'm just going to hit the O on my keyboard, you can see it's a pretty light mask. We're only painting at a 15 or 16 percent opacity. I can continue to paint harder to build up that color. So let's say I want a little bit more on her forehead. I can just paint over that area again and it'll continue to fill it in with that color and smooth it out even more. Same thing under her eyes. Maybe I want a little bit stronger in those eye bags right under her eyes here. And maybe we want to hit the skin on her torso a little bit too. So I'm just going to scrub through here. That scrubby sound you hear is my pen on my tablet. There we go. Got just a little too much over here. I'm just going to hold down the option key and I'm just going to paint that off her cheek just a little. There we go. Let's again take a look at the before and after. There's before and after. A nice, clean, subtle way to retouch that skin a bit. Now the other cool thing is I can even tune that color now if I wanted to. I'm just going to click on the color well again. Let's say I want to increase the saturation of her skin a little bit. I can pull that up and it's only going to affect the areas that I painted. And I can shift the hue a little bit. Maybe I want it to be a little bit more yellow. Just like that. Now that's just one example of what you can do with the paint with color option. You can use it for all sorts of things like smoothing out skin, changing the color of an object, helping to remove a halo along the edge of something you've masked, especially on a green screen. It's a very powerful re-editable tool right here. Thanks for watching.